Hello everybody, welcome back to the dumbest modeling channel on all of YouTube Pitstain Hobbies. Uh, your host Ian here, and as always, we've got Ian screwed up stickers. You catch something I screw up on, or you have a great tip or trick, like, subscribe, comment, email me, it's in the description. I will mail you out a free piece of swag, because... I don't know why I just like spending every cent I possibly make on YouTube to buy more stickers. That being said, this is for the Leopard 2A6 people who are really, really not enthused about building tracks. I finished both my tracks. I have been evolving my processes over the course of two tracks with 79 links each. It has not been an easy journey for me. Uh, it's just fiddly. That's it. You know, tedious and fiddly and repetitive work. And uh, the, it's not the rock star exciting stuff, but you got to do it. Now, you'll notice here I have painted my tracks. You can see some of the original finish there. Um, that is a mix of track black from, I'm going to say it, and someone's going to have to do a shot now, Andy's Hobby Headquarters. I'll try to find his video and put a link in the description below. But basically, it's a mixture of uh, like 85% NATO black, 10% NATO brown, and 5% just XF whatever red um, to come up with a not quite black, not, you know, a little hint of brown and red to it, uh, base track color. Um, because as we can see in the, you know, paraphernalia that comes here with the kit is that the tracks are oxidized as is normal. Um, the tracks get a little rusty, perfectly fine. Uh, what we get from Agora is nicely finished i mean it's got a shiny metallic you know powder coat or some type of enamel finish on it it's fine you know but i wanted to make these look a little uh dirty so i did that i a lot of bits of masking tape to tape, tape over the rubber track pads now i was thinking oh can i remove the rubber track pads nope these track pads are put on with so much stunk um they are really really well built so they are through molded completely so they are molded right through those holes in both sides and they are not going anywhere do not really worry about ever losing a track pad on the agora leopard 2a6 um so that being said i've been trying to come up with easier better less thumb damaging ways to put these together versus you know the hammer system uh that we were using there and it's noisy and it's just eh Okay, I want to find a way to do things lazier. Uh, I was, uh, then I was figuring out, oh, maybe if I had an arbor press or something where I can go clonk, um, but I don't have one of those. And they're like 70 bucks, and I just don't feel like spending the money because I don't know what I'll use it for ever again. I happen to have this old piece of crap, um, a drill press table vice, drill, drill press table vice, I don't know, um, from Harbor Freight Tools that cost practically nothing. And I take a few thick sanding sticks. I put them on there and basically we can take a couple of track links here. Let's, uh, let's zoom in a little. There we go. And I mean, everybody's, anyone who's been building this, this, this model knows, you know, this is the, this is the fun part, you know, putting the track links together. Um, little fiddly. <clears throat> basically I get my Come on, my center link in there. Get our center link. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that's 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 that. That's not super difficult. But what we need to do now is we will rest it on those little dinghies, okay? And we're gonna take our end link connector and our needle nose pliers we want to just the tip of the plier okay and this is i'm at an odd angle to try to do this because i'm i'm, I'm obviously filming it for everybody but basically you hold it with the pliers And then, boom, loosen that up, and perfect. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Now, just do that, you know, 
70, 77 more times, and we'll have one complete track. These are some of the spares. Um, you get a bunch of extra spares. I think there's at least probably nine or 10 spare track links total with the kit, 79 per side. Every now and then one of the magazines will say uh, 81 links, but it's, it's pretty, they drive it home pretty, pretty hard at, at one point. They say 79 links per track. So hopefully that's enough. We'll find out in the next full build issue uh, that we do, next build pack that we do. Uh, for the 2A6. So there we go. I hope this was helpful. It was a short video, just a quick tutorial on my way of putting the track links together. I'm not going to get into the whole painting the track links. It's just a lot of tedious masking tape and, uh, you know, spraying them down uh, with your preferred color or not. You don't have to do it. I'm doing it. Doesn't mean it's, it's uh, necessary. So that's it though. Um, pretty easy. These little, uh, these little vice setups are, I don't know, 20 bucks maybe at Harbor Freight? 25? I don't know. I've had it so long. Maybe they're 30 now. I don't know. Inflation. Hello. Uh, but yeah, that's that. So uh, again, Agora Models, Leopard 2A6. Lovely bit of kit. These tracks are absolutely impressive though. These are some of the nicest tracks I've ever seen. I've bought aftermarket tracks. Uh, I bought expensive ones and more expensive ones. And they're, they're, I have yet to find anything this impressive. So there we go. That's that. Bob's your uncle. These rubber track pads are not coming off. They are not glued on. They are really part of that metal link. So adios, everybody. Click the links in the description below to check out the model. Thanks for coming. We'll see you next time.